and Heat 1B, all the top qualifiers except Budweiser, faced off against each other, including last week's winner in Kelowna, Mark Evans in the Pico American Dream. But in this heat, it was Mark's brother Mitch in the Appian Geronimo and Nate Brown in Lumar Window Film, The Boats to Watch. Coming up to the start, you see right now the yellow boat, Lumar Window Film, Nate Brown to the outside. Pico now comes up outside of him. On the inside, it was Appy and Geronimo, and then Jimmy King and the Elam Plus in lane two as they headed for the start. And a good start by Nate Brown in the Lumar window film. Got a bit of an edge. Mark Evans came after him here in the Pico American Dream, but look at Brown move out. That Lumar boat has good shoot speed, as we've said before, but in the turn right here, the Appian Geronimo on the inside, using that advantage, will take the lead. And this boat, John, is starting to show the promise we had been looking for in the first half of the season. Mitch Evans has been driving turbine boats just a couple of years. Before that, nine years driving the piston-powered U3, the Cooper boat. So really, he doesn't have all that much experience and seems to get better week by week. And I think that's a very good point. Mitch has relatively little turbine seat time, and as he gets more, that team's going to be very tough. Here is Mitch Evans as he came around to take the checkered flag in Heat 1B. A terrific job of driving for him, but a long day ahead. Very smooth by Mitch Evans. Second place to Nate Brown in the Lumar window film, who got a good start, but was not able to keep up with Appy and Geronimo. And Jimmy King in the Elam Plus. Racing only three events this year is the Elam, the Elstrom team. Checking the results, Pico American Dream is last after winning last week in Kelowna. Steve talked with both the Evans brothers, first with Mark. Mark, the last time we talked to you, you were first. This did not look like the same boat. <laughs> oh, we're just working up to it. You know, we're just kind of watching, see what the guys are up to and picking our, picking our way through and uh, getting ready for the final. Yeah, but fourth place? Well, hey, now, you know, anything can happen. <laughs> did you happen to be at Kelowna here last week? <laughs> anything can happen in boat racing. <laughs> Mitch, a great start, a great boat ride. Uh, yeah. Second heat win, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. Like I say, the boat's handling good. Decided to go in there, mix it up, do a little drag start. I couldn't let my brother get inside of me, so uh, got, a, got, got a great boat here. So um, got out front, and not much challenge after that.